One of the key members of that national title squad joins us now, Charlie Bell on the phone. Charlie, what memory still remains the most vivid in your mind from the night that you guys won it all? I just think when, um, you know, that clock counted down to zero, man, and just all the, the hard work and all the sweat and the blood and the tears that kind of went into that season and, you know, just all, everything that you did to get to that moment, just kind of, you know, just exhaling, just taking a relief, like, man, we, we finally did it, you know, we made it. And, um, you know, it's just something that, you know, you'll never forget. The year obviously builds up, but then the Final Four weekend, extra pressure, responsibilities. What are the next 48 hours like for the guys now in Minneapolis? You know, it's going to go by so fast, man. It's going to be a blur. I think, um, you know, I think the coaches do a great job of giving guys, you know, time to spend with families, but at the same time, you got to prepare for the game. And, uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of film sessions, a lot of walkthroughs. And there's going to be a lot of different things that they're going to have to do to get ready for the game. But at the same time, you want to enjoy the experience. And um, like I said, it's going to go by before these guys know it. And, uh, and you know, you got the open practice. And it's, it comes to a point where it's going to be like, you know, you, you, go, you go from playing in the NBA and basketball arenas to playing in a football stadium. And I think that's just something that, you know, it's just unbelievable. Charlie, so many comparisons have been made between the point guard on your team, Martin Cleves, the point guard on this Michigan State team, Cassius Winston. What similarities and differences do you see in those two players? I think similarity-wise, I think they're both great leaders. And I think, uh, you know, they're leaders on the court and leaders off the court. Um, I don't know if Cassius is as vocal, you know, as Mateen was, but at the same time, I mean, he's one of those guys that, you know, he controls the pace of the game just like Mateen did. Um... I think when you need a big shot, Cassius is going to make that big shot. When you need um, uh, a pass or try to get somebody in the right place to be successful, you know, Cassius is going to do that just like Mateen did it. And I just think this, the way he sees the floor and the way he passes the ball, you know, it just makes everybody work harder. I knew if I ran my lane, I knew that Mateen would find me. And I just think it's the same way with Cassius. You see these guys run hard you know, on offensive and transition because they know if they do their job and do things that they're supposed to do, you know, Cassius is going to find them for an easy basket. Charlie, based on what this team lost a year ago and the injuries it suffered throughout the course of the year, how surprised are you to see them at the Final Four? If somebody at the beginning of the season told me that this team, especially without Josh, you know, go, we'll make it to the Final Four, you know, I probably would have laughed. Like, ah, you know, I don't, I don't know about this. There's been years that we've had better teams. But that just goes to show, you know, how great this team is and, you know, the camaraderie that they have. And uh, you can just tell they enjoy playing with each other. And I just think that was one of the things that, you know, with us from back in 2000, you know, we enjoy playing with each other. And you can just tell this team really enjoys each other and they enjoy, you know, being around each other. Charlie, as an alum, as a national champ, if you had the opportunity to send one final message to this team before it took the court on Saturday night, what would that message be? Enjoy it. You know, enjoy the moment. You know, and leave it all out there on the court. You know, you can't go out there and just be like, you know what, there's another game. Because, you know, this, this is a win or go home. But at the same time, you know, enjoy the moment, have fun. Because, you know, you never know when this moment will happen again. You know, some of these guys are seniors. Uh, some of these guys are underclassmen. And, you know, this is just something that you may never get to again. So enjoy the moment and go out there and leave it all on the floor. Charlie Bell, 19 years and a day removed from both Michigan State and the Big Ten's last national championship in men's basketball. Charlie, appreciate the time. Enjoy watching your alma mater in the Final Four this weekend. Yeah, I appreciate it, and go green.